Now, given that Disney and Lucasfilm are already working on over a dozen Star Wars projects on Disney Plus alone, completely separate from the new Star Wars films, they really do have a lot on their plate that they are working with John Favreau, Dave Filoni, and George Lucas on. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about Disney Star Wars is that yes, we can see that we can witness this major transition taking place before our very own eyes. You know, from the Kathleen Kennedy era of Star Wars to what John and Dave are doing now with the Favloni universe. That's really going to give fans a lot of hope about the future. Now, given that Luke Skywalker's entrance into The Mandalorian Season 2 really impressed a lot of fans out there. They are also working on a lot of extensions of the characters like Ahsoka, Boba Fett, and even Bo-Katan, and others out there that we all know and love. Now, given that a lot of those projects are all going to take place within the same exact timeline, John and Dave are also looking at other timelines as well to explore within this new universe. Now, on top of all of this, we do know that George Lucas is indeed working very closely with John and Dave to make sure that Star Wars is going to succeed and they're going to use the right type of Star Wars lore to take advantage of in this new expanded universe. So that's one amazing thing to look forward to without a doubt. The other thing is this, all right, is that we also have George Lucas regulating the Star Wars franchise as we speak and exactly how it's all going to be marketed from this point on forward. Now, with that being said, of course, now that The Mandalorian Season 3 is currently in the works, John and Dave Filoni are very busy developing their new Star Wars universe from the ground up. It's described, however, that behind the scenes, creator George Lucas just finalized a major decision for the future on Disney+, Plus and canceled a handful of Star Wars movies that were in development for quite some time that were greenlit by Kathleen Kennedy. It's described that Kathleen Kennedy had an original plan to release low-budget Star Wars movies onto the Disney Plus platform that would take place within the High Republic era of the franchise. Now, it's described that Lucas recently canceled those High Republic films and finalized the decision to never let them happen on Disney Plus. Lucas saw releasing low-budget Star Wars films on Disney Plus would have taken away from the experience of Disney Plus being a Star Wars TV show focused platform and that he was not impressed with the High Republic movie ideas by Kathleen Kennedy. George Lucas is now primarily focused on bringing back the old Republic era to Disney Plus in surprising and unexpected ways for the fans to experience within the next couple of years. So let me stop right here. The most exciting part out of all of this is how George has a plan with John and Dave to establish the old Republic era to be explored on Disney Plus. Now again, we're not quite sure if this is going to be animated content or live action content on Disney Plus. That is a big mystery. But nonetheless, the old Republic is coming for Star Wars overall. Now, about those High Republic films that were cancelled by George Lucas, let me just say one thing. Bravo to him, because I think that would have been a big mistake on Kathleen Kennedy's part, and on Disney's part, generally. I feel that releasing low-budget Star Wars movies on a platform like that would have, yes, completely diminished the experience of really building this platform to be TV-focused when it comes to Star Wars, specifically. And not just that, High Republic movies should not be rushed so fast, you know, because a lot of fans out there have yet to actually see, you know, uh, Phase 1, 2, and 3 of the High Republic books and novels. So fans still gotta wait for that. The other thing is this, is that George Lucas knows exactly what the fans want to see. Obviously, the High Republic, which by the way are residual projects by Kathleen Kennedy, was basically the Old Republic light. It was basically the light version of that. There's no denying that. I mean, just look at the title alone. The High Republic itself is basically an alternate version of the Old Republic taking place far closer to the Phantom Menace. You know, it only takes place in its entirety 200 years before Episode 1, whereas opposed the Old Republic is thousands upon thousands of years. Now, Given that George, John, and Dave are going to make sure that the Old Republic is going to be done properly, be it animated or live action, 
it will be interesting to see exactly how this is going to be done. Obviously, a lot of fans are going to favor that over the High Republic era. Let's not forget that the High Republic era is going to be more peace-focused. It's going to be less war-centric. It's going to have fewer battles, per se. And I think that's one thing that a lot of fans out there may not necessarily enjoy. If you guys like the High Republic so far, that's fine. You know, everybody has their own opinion, and that's a part of being human after all. But everything that George, John, and Dave are focusing on, it seems like that they are focusing on what the hardcore fans want to actually see take place within Star Wars. These are the fans that have supported the franchise since the very beginning, right? Since George released his movie back in 77 and since a lot of those books and novels really succeeded in the 90s and the 2000s. So, like I said before in the past, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.